Memory consolidation is the process of transferring information from short-term and working memory to long-term memory. Initial consolidation occurs within seconds or minutes of forming a new memory. However, newly encoded memories are fragile because it takes time for changes in neural circuits to occur. Consolidation continues over days, weeks, and even years. Retrieving memories, remembering them, can also make them unstable, requiring them to be reconsolidated. There are a few things that people can do to help with this process. For example, sleep facilitates consolidation, which is why getting a good night's sleep is so important, especially before exams. Consolidation is also impacted by the highly organized frameworks onto which new information is organized, called schemas. Schemas are mental representations or frameworks for organizing knowledge and experiences. They're composed of memory units and relationships between those units, and are formed through exposure to multiple instances of an object or an idea. Let's use the concept of a house as an example. All houses look a bit different, but they also have many features in common, things like roofs, doors, and windows. Having a house schema allows us to understand that the house you're seeing from the side also has a front door, even if it's not visible to us at the moment. These schemas are useful because they allow people to interpret experiences quickly and make inferences even in the case of incomplete information. But while they allow for rapid retrieval, schemas can also make stored memories prone to errors. People tend to be good at remembering information that's consistent with their schemas, but not as good at remembering information that is inconsistent with them. For example, kids told a story about a firefighter who happens to be female switched the gender of the character when they were asked to retell the story a week later. Schemas can also lead people to remember features that were not actually present. In one study, researchers had people wait in the professor's office for 35 seconds, and then, after exiting the room, they were asked to make a list of everything that they recalled seeing. People were better at recalling objects that fit with their schemas of professor's office, such as chairs and desks, than unusual objects. But they also recalled seeing objects that had not been present, but were consistent with their schema for professor's office. Things like books.